Hey y'all, hey, it's Trey and day back to y'all with another video. Today's video is super, super, super exciting as always. In today's video, we are going to be discussing how to set up shipping on your Shopify store, you guys. Yesterday, we talked all about how to set up the back end of your Shopify, how to make sure things are set up for success. Today, we're going to be talking about shipping during the second day of the Shopify series. So I'm so excited to dive right on into this topic. I'm going to be showing you guys what things you want to make sure are in place in the background as far as shipping. I'm going to also show you guys some of my processes and procedures that I like to take to make sure that shipping is a breeze. I'm going to also show you guys some of the materials and shipping supplies that I use as well, such as poly mailers, inserts, different things like that as well. So make sure you guys stay tuned. We're going to jump right on into the computer. We're going to go ahead and get it cracking. Go ahead and I'm going to go through and give you guys some amazing information. So stay tuned. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and jump right on in, you guys. So first thing you want to do when you head over to your Shopify account is to go over here to your settings selection. You want to select settings, and then we are going to take a deeper dive into shipping and delivery. So we're going to go through and click that. So this is your settings right here for shipping and delivery. Pretty straightforward, but I am going to walk you through each and every one of these things so you can grow yourself familiar with them. So at the top, you have your delivery methods at checkout. This is your most important setting. We're going to dive right on into this last after I go through and show you guys each one of the different steps as well. So delivery methods at checkout. This is where you're going to figure out where you want to ship your products to and how much you want to charge for shipping at checkout. How much you want to charge your customers for shipping. Right here is your packages. You're going to go through and add in each type of package that you have. If they're poly mailers or if they're boxes, you're going to add the size dimensions. And then you're also going to go through and add weight. I'm going to show you guys how to do that as well. Down here, you have your shipping labels. So Shopify does allow you to get discounted shipping labels. So that is a really, really great feature that they have. There's discounts for DHL, UPS, USPS. You guys want to definitely make sure you check out these different rates and that you take advantage of these different rates as well. Down below that, you have some instructions that are going to help you guys with setting up your shipping label printers. So they do allow you to print labels on just letter size for desktop printers. And then they do allow you to hook up any of your thermal printers. I personally use the Dymo shipping label um, printer, the 4XL, and I'll show you guys a little bit more of that later once we do start packaging orders. Up under that, you have your packing slips. So they do allow you to customize your packing slips if you want. So you can definitely go through here and customize it. You do have to have a little experience with coding um, if you do want to go through and play with that as well. So that way you don't go through and mess anything up. But that is definitely an option for packing slips. Down here you have carrier accounts. So you do have the ability to enable third-party third calculated rates at checkout. So if you don't want to just use the ones that Shopify comes with, you can add a third party. You do have to have an upgraded plan in order to do this, but that's definitely an option if that's something you want to do. Last but not least here, you have the ability to add a custom order fulfillment. So this is going to give you the ability to add um, an email address for anyone who else may be fulfilling those orders for you. So this is going to be great and important for you guys to go through and outline. If you are going to be using some type of drop shipping service, this is where you would go through and add that. So that way your orders aren't necessarily being sent to you. They're being sent to a third party who can then go through and fulfill those orders for you. So you're just adding the fulfillment service right there if you are into using drop shipping as a uh, fulfillment service there as well so we're going to head back up and we're going to be working today in packages and we're also going to be working into delivery methods at checkout first we're going to start off with adding our packages first because we want to make sure that our rates at checkout are calculated based off of the sizing of packages that we are going to be using so I like to just use three different poly mailer sizes. I don't like things to be overly complicated. I know people who have tons and tons of different type of mailers and different things like that. So these are the three that I use. I have a small wanted poly mailer, a medium wanted poly mailer, and a large wanted poly mailer. So I do also have poly mailers in these exact same size without my wanted logo. This is just allowing me to know that these are the ones with the wanted logo. But you can definitely go through and just customize this based off of what you want. So, of course, you're going to go here and hit Add Package. If you're going to be using a box, you want to select Box. If you're going to be using an envelope, go through and select that. If you're using a poly mailer, make sure you select Soft Package slash Satchel. And this is where you're going to go through and add the length, width, and height um, to uh, make sure you differentiate your poly mailers. Also, you want to add in the weight 
when it is empty. If it is just one single poly mailer, it has no weight at all. So you can go through and definitely leave that as blank since that is optional. You can always go through and add a name. So maybe you want to just put small poly mailer. Like me, for example, I have small wanted poly mailer or medium poly mailer. Or if you guys are doing mixed mystery boxes, at one point I had mystery boxes. So I just put mystery box there. And then you can even set it as a default package. So as you guys can see here, my small wanted poly mailer is my default package because this is the one I use most frequently. So it will automatically select this one. But if I notice, okay, this order actually can't fit in a small poly mailer, then I will go through the medium or maybe the large. So those are some options there. They do allow you to even use carrier packaging. So if you guys are going to be using the packaging from USPS, you can definitely go here and select whatever one that you will be using as far as your USPS. That's what I started when I first started out. I started using packaging provided by USPS because it's free. So definitely come on here and figure out which box that you're going to be using. You can select it. For example, let's say I select the priority mail legal flat rate envelope. I'm going to hit add package. And then it's just going to add it automatically there for me. They already know the weight. They already know the size dimensions. So that is already there and good to go. So that is pretty much packaging. Very, very simple, very easy to do. All you need to know is the length, width, and height of everything. I like to go through and maybe like you can even take these out and just put zero. So as you guys can see, these are actually wrong. So I need to go back through and correct those. Um, but as long as the length and width there are correct, the height doesn't really matter because their poly mailers don't really have a height to them at all. So those are your packages. So we are going to take a deeper dive into delivery methods at checkout. So they have three different methods that you can do as far as delivering your orders. You can deliver based off on shipping. You can have a local delivery, which means that you are di directly delivering your orders to local customers. So you guys may have some type of local delivery service where you take your orders to your customers. So that's an option that you can have. As you guys can see, I don't have that feature turned on. It just says doesn't offer delivery right there. Right here, we have local pickup. So this is going to allow our customers to come to us to pick up their orders. As you guys can see, I don't have any order pickup or anything right there available. So we are going to take a deeper dive into shipping because we're not doing any local delivery. We're not doing any pickup. So we're going to take a deeper dive into this shipping area. So their shipping area is where you are going to ship and how much you're going to charge for shipping at checkout. So you have some general rates, you have rates for based off of one location to two different zones, and then you can even customize your shipping rates as well. So we're going to take a deeper dive into this. First thing you guys want to hit is manage rates. And then up here, you're going to see all of your products. So these are some of the products that I have set for my relaunch that I haven't figured out. I haven't gone through and finished adding just yet. But as you guys can see, these are all of your products. All products are going to be right here. And this is going to allow you to know that these settings will be based upon all of your products that are listed here. Down below that, you can figure out where you want to ship from. So this is the address for my P.O. box, not my actual address, you guys. So this is where we are shipping our orders from. It is extremely important that you have a P.O. box address and not your own home personal address, just so that way you have some type of privacy there as well. So this is where we are shipping from. You can hit manage and then you can always go through and change that um, into the settings there as well. So next thing we are shipping to. We are shipping to domestic United States and then we also have settings for the rest of the world. You can definitely come down here and add different um, areas of the world that you might want to go through and to ship to. It doesn't have to just be United States and rest of the world. You can have shipping settings directly for the UK. You can have shipping settings directly for any country that you want. Um, you just have to keep in mind that the calculated shipping rates will be different for those different areas. So first things first, I like to just go through and worry about the U.S. first. And then I kind of like to go through and do rest of the world. Today we're going to be focusing on the U.S. Maybe I'll do a more so dedicated video later on on international shipping. So when it comes to domestic shipping, you have two options. You can select your own rates or you can use carrier and app rates. You have two different options there. So if you are going to be using your own rates, first thing you're going to do is go to add rate. So you can set up your own rate or you can use a carrier or an app to calculate your rates as well. So right here you have some different options. Your shipping speed. So you can either use some of the presets that Shopify gives you or you can customize a flat rate um, at your own leisure. 
So let's say I wanted to do like a standard shipping. I'm just going to collect select standard shipping and then I could put the price. The price that you want to have as far as your shipping really, really just matters solely based off of you and where you think, you know, um, the average cost that shipping will be based upon how far you are delivering your packages to your customers. What I would recommend as far as trying to figure out a flat rate fee when it comes to shipping is to really go through on whatever carrier site that you're going to be using and do some research based upon like, you know, the minimum and maximum amount dollar wise that is going to be collected based upon shipping. So this really just depends on you and your own research. What I did, I used to do just $8.50 just because if I had someone, for example, who ordered sunglasses, I know that this is definitely going to be more than enough money to cover their shipping. However, I did have customers that would literally come on my site and purchase so many different products where I would have to come out of pocket on this $8.50. So if I'm charging them $8.50 and they purchase a bunch of inventory from me, I know that that shipping rate is probably going to be maybe even $12, $13. So I'm going to have to come out of pocket. So there's times where you're going to have to come out of pocket as far as shipping. And then if there's going to be times where you'll make a profit on shipping sometimes. It really just depends when you are setting up your own rates. So you can even add conditions. You can add shipping rates based off of the weight of the item, shipping rates based off of your item, based off of the order price. So this is also great if you guys are interested in doing free shipping. So if I wanted to do free shipping, I would come down here to custom flat rate. I would select free shipping. I would change the price to zero dollars. And then let's say I wanted to do free shipping for everyone. I wouldn't add a minimum weight or a port, uh, order price. I would just leave these blank because free shipping would be for everyone. But let's say I wanted to do free shipping on orders over $75. So I know that the minimum you have to order with me is going to be $75. So that would be that. I would just click done and then boom. You guys can see I already had that set up there. So it will give them free shipping if they meet a threshold of $75 and up. So that is definitely an option there. So you guys have two separate options. You guys can definitely do, um, you know, free shipping. You guys can do a rate that you calculated and you've done your own research to go through and do. I know tons of businesses that make really good profit on their shipping when they do do this. It's just a lot of research that you have to go through and figure out based upon your audience and where your audience is located. So you guys have some options there as well. So you can do shipping by weight, you can do shipping by price, or anything like that as well. Next thing you guys can do is your carrier and app rates. This is what I'm probably going to be doing moving forward with my boutique, just because I feel like it saves you a lot more time. You don't have to sit there and wait each order after the order is prepared. It's more so going to do the calculating for you. You just have to make sure that you head over to your product section and weigh each item and put in the, um, the weight of each item on each of your products. So if I come over here to products, I'm going to leave this page really quick so I can show you guys. And let's say I go over here to the chill stretch set. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to select the items. I'm going to hit edit. And then down here, we're going to go to shipping. This is a physical product. And then we're going to add in the weight. So this is going to be used to calculate our shipping rates at checkout and our label prices during fulfillment. So if you are going to be shipping by weight, you want to make sure that you add the weight of every single product in the individual sizes as well. So as you guys can see, I had I have small, medium, and medium, large. You wanna weigh those individually, or you can even weigh them together if you just wanna go through and kinda of get things over with. Just make sure that you, if you are weighing them together, that you just take the largest size. So we're gonna dive back into settings so we can finish going over that. So when you guys are trying to figure out, you know, your calculated shipping, what I would recommend doing is going over here into add rate. You want to use a carrier or app for, to calculate rates. Since I already have it set up, I'm just going to go back. But this is where I would go through and just select USPS. I already have it on here, so it's not going to allow me to select it again. But I'll show you guys kind of what it looks like. So I'm just going to go here to edit rate. Okay, so this is what it would look like if I am using USPS. They're going to allow you to select some different categories that you can give to your customers to allow them to select whatever carrier or whatever type of service they want to use um, based off of your selection. So you have some first class mail, you have first class package, you have media mail, 
Parcel, parcel, select ground. You can do priority mail and priority mail express. Me personally, I just like using priority mail just because it's going to get to my customers the fastest. And it's also really, really great um, service to use here as well. So this is just regular standard. And then you have express too for those customers who want to get their orders a lot quicker. You can even automatically show your customers new shipping services when they do become available. I don't like to go through and do that. I just like to make mine really simplistic. And then down here, if you do want to charge any type of handling fee, you can do it by percentage or you can do a flat rate. So your handling fee is basically going to give you some additional funds to pay for packaging or to pay yourself for actually, you know, doing the shipping service. We all know shipping shipping orders takes a long time. So you guys can get some additional, um, you know, compensation for that here if you do want to do a percentage or if you do want to do a flat fee. So that's pretty much it. Shopify is going to do the rest for you if you are going to be doing calculated shipping. Um, they're just going to take it, you know, weight by weight, depending on, of course, how large that customer's order is and give them a price based off of that. I would recommend if you guys are going to be doing um, shipping by cal calculated shipping that you do offer some type of free shipping because it's going to get extremely, extremely hefty and it's going to discourage your customers from completing that order. So, for example, let's say I order like, 10 things from your boutique, my shipping price is going to be outrageous because that's a, that's a really heavy package. So I am compensating those people by offering them free shipping if they spend $75 or more because if you do spend over $75, more than likely you've purchased maybe two, maybe three items from my boutique at that point. So your shipping price is going to encourage you to maybe even spend more after that. So it really just depends. This shipping is really just based off of you, but I really wanted to come on here and to show you guys how to go through and how to get these things set up. As you guys can see, it's very, very simple. Same exact processes and procedures um, work for the rest of the world. Like I said earlier, you can just go through and select a different shipping zone. And this is where you'll add different countries that you may want to go through and to ship with um, or ship to as well there as well. So that's pretty much everything, you guys. Stay tuned, and I'm going to show you guys how I ship my orders using Shopify. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and get started. So how to ship out orders using Shopify, you guys. Before we go into diving into the computer, I'm going to show you guys some of the materials that I use. So first things first, this is a computer that I use strictly for shipping out my orders. Since I've over time, I've gotten new computers. So this computer is a lot older, so I just use this one to just strictly ship out orders. Um, so I have my computer set up there. I have my shipping scale. So I got this one from Staples. It is a very, very heavy duty shipping scale. I believe it can weigh up to 150 pounds or 250 pounds. And this is called their Brecknell scale. And this is what it looks like. Hopefully you guys can see it. Um, and this is a really, really heavy duty scale. And I believe I paid about $150 or something like that for it. And the reason I actually got that one was because I was doing my wholesale orders and those orders were super, super heavy. So I had to have a scale that could weigh something um, really, really heavy. So I didn't intentionally actually go out and spend $150 on a scale. It was more so of like a life or death type of thing. So I ended up just keeping it. And then this is a scale that I actually do recommend for you guys who are um, weighing smaller items. This is a brick nail scale as well, and this one can weigh up to 11 pounds. I got this room from Staples as well when I first started my boutique, and it is literally like my pride and joy because this scale has been with me since the day one of me starting my business. So I got both of those from Staples. I also do use the Dymo label printer. It is the 4XL. So this is the Dymo shipping label printer. This one is the one that prints out shipping labels. And then I have my shipping labels inside of it as well. This is the Label Writer 4XL. Holy Grail, same thing. Um, I've had this since day one of me starting my business as well. And I got this one from either Office Depot or I got it from Staples. Um, the next thing I use is going to be poly mailers. So this is a poly mailer right here. This is in the size, I want to say 14 by 19. So 14 inches across, 19 inches down. So I have this poly mailer just plain and black. I got this one from um, Amazon. And then as far as inserts, I do thank you cards. So this is what my old thank you cards look like. And those are my old poly mailers as well. You guys know I'm in the process of rebranding. So this is what they look like. I feel like it's a glare and y'all not seeing it. But 
hopefully you guys can see it but these are just like my thank you cards here the back of it is completely blank because i did used to go through and write customized notes can't do that no more because your girl been getting too many orders and i'm sure it will continue like that in the future but these are just some inserts here as far as thank you cards I do include business cards in all of my orders as well. So my business cards and thank you cards are similar, very, very similar as far as style. And then I also do have hang tags. So when it comes to hang tags, I just have my logo on it and then just my return policy here on the back. Hopefully you guys are seeing this. I feel like this is completely washed out, but hopefully you guys can see it. And then these are some of the tools that I use. So my hang tags are just business cards. Um, because y'all business cards, I mean hang tags are expensive. So I just take my little handy dandy um, little hole puncher. And I have a whole video on this if you guys go to my private labeling video. I just hole punch a hole in it. I take my um, little tagging gun. Got this from, from Staples as well. And then I just put the little um, needle through. And then I just press the gun whenever I am actually tagging my clothing. So you guys can definitely go through and use that. Or you guys can use um, just these little hang tag strings. And I got these from Amazon. They include like a bunch of them. So you can add these to your clothing as well there too. If you don't want to use the actual plastic ones. So those are pretty much like all the materials that I use when I am shipping out my orders. So let's go through and let's get started with actually shipping an order. I'm going to show you guys what that looks like on my screen. All right, you guys, so this is what your screen should look like when you are in the process of shipping out an order. Your orders are all right here. Usually the number that is highlighted right here are all the orders that you have to go through and fulfill. Mind you, this is also including any returns or anything like that. You can go through and customize this if you don't want it to show all these numbers, including on the return. So you guys can definitely go through and keep that in mind. So this is a fake order that I went through and created that I am shipping to myself. And I'll show you guys what that process looks like here so you have your order number you have that the item was paid for and that it is unfulfilled unfulfilled basically means that you have not gone through and fulfilled that order you do have options as far as refunds you can edit the order and then you have some additional actions right here that you can even go through and to use as well right here you can see all of the amount of items that your customer has purchased you can even see the SKU number and the sizes so that's really important and then you can see the amount quantity wise that your um, customer has gone through and purchased there as well if you do have an option as far as notes at checkout your customer can definitely leave you some notes here as well um, if that is an option that you decide to have down below here you can see the amount your customer paid and then you can even show your cut your tax rates so if I select that I am in the county of Hillsborough so that is how much my customer paid for that and then Florida taxes as well so our taxes are 7.5 percent total and then you can see how much your customer paid. There's also a timeline available here as far as all the actions taken on this particular order. So coming back over here, you can see your customer's contact information, their shipping, billing address, their contact information there, their conversion summary. This is really, really good um, right here if you guys are interested into getting some additional information as far as conversions for that particular order. And then your fraud analysis, it, if it is medium or high risk, I, in my opinion, I always cancel those orders just because I just don't have time to deal with chargebacks. So I always just only accept orders who have low risk um, fraud. So we are going to go through and start fulfilling this order. First thing you guys want to do is select create shipping label. So after you go through and you select that, very, very simple from here. You can do your shipping date as of today or you can change it to any other day of the week. So you can say that your order is being shipped out today and it'll allow your customers to know that you are shipping their order out that same day. Or let's say, for example, today was like a Saturday and you want to make sure that your customers know that you're shipping out their orders on maybe a Monday. I would go here and select maybe a Monday or another day of the week. So this is where you are going to go through and select your packages. So earlier we talked about packages and weight of our packages as well. So we have some different options here. We have our small poly mailer, our medium sized poly mailer, or our large poly mailer. I love the fact that they give you the opportunity to add a package right then and there. If any of these packages are packages that you don't want to use, you can do that. So let's say we are using maybe a mid-sized poly mailer. That's the size that I showed you guys earlier. It is going to go through and give me some different options that I can go through and select based off of the weight 
of my items all together. So you want to make sure you weigh it with the package. You weigh all of your items with the overall package itself so that way you can go through and get a total weight. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. Alright you guys, so like I said, you want to make sure that you weigh your packages in total if you are going to be shipping um, based off of like a flat rate fee and you have not previously added in the weight of each individual product in the system. So we're going to go through and see the overall weight since we did not go through and add each um, item individually per product. So we're just going to go through and add in all of our products in our poly mailers. You can be fancy and add, you know, bells and whistles, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to show you guys just the processes and procedures, not necessarily all the branding or anything like that. So we have all of our um, items in the poly mailer. We can even go through and add in all of our inserts. Let's say our hang tags were on there. We can go through and add in our um, thank you note, business cards. We're going to add those right in there as well. And then we are going to close her on up. As you all can see, this poly mailer is a little bit too big. So we can close it just a little bit smaller. It's not going to affect our pricing or anything like that. So we have our package right here. And then we're going to go through and throw her right on the scale. And it is saying that this package weighs a total of 1.5 pounds. So we're going to dive back in the computer and I'm going to show you guys how to insert the weight of the entire package into the actual system. So we have the weight of our total package. So we're going to go through, we're going to take that out and we're just going to put 1.5 since that was our total weight. Now it is going to give us rates based off of the total weight of our package. As you guys can see before, our rates completely have changed and they were a lot cheaper. So as you guys can see, we are going to just go through and select USPS Priority Mail. All of these other options are definitely options you guys can click on. So for example, let's say our customer decided that they wanted to do Priority Mail Express. We're going to go through and select that. Or we can even come right here and we can go through and select this um option here as far as USPS priority mail. What we're going to do is we're going to hit buy label. As soon as we do that, it is going to go through and print our shipping label and we're going to just add it to our package. It's just simple as that, you guys. All right, so hopefully that made a lot of sense to you guys. Hopefully that cleared up a lot of you guys' questions and comments and concerns as far as shipping and how to actually ship out orders using Shopify. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comments and I'll be sure to get back with you. Also, make sure you guys are following me over at Her Hustle Academy and you tune into my Wind Down Wednesdays. Every single Wednesday at that page, we are discussing all things related to business. So make sure you guys tune in there at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.